Okay, look forward to that. Thank you, David. At Tuesday night's Rapid City School Board meeting, Superintendent Nicole Swaggart said more parents have been expressing concern about the books they say are graphic in nature and not appropriate for students. Madison Newman spoke to a Books A Million manager about why the concept of banning books can be dangerous. Every year, schools evaluate their book list for their libraries to decide which books might not be appropriate for students. According to the American Library Association, in 2022, a record was set, with objections filed on more than 2,500 different books. I think books have always been banned. It's just been an ongoing problem. I mean, think back to World War II and burning of books. We don't have a problem with parents saying, this is what's appropriate for my child. We have a problem with saying this is what's appropriate to have in our libraries and in our bookstores. According to mtsu.edu, book banning is a form of censorship that occurs when private individuals, government officials, or organizations remove books from libraries, school reading lists, or bookstore shelves because they object to their content, ideas, or themes. Stanley says it's access to the books that's the most important and people should want their kids to read so that they can grow up to, quote, love knowledge. If that's something you don't want in your home, that's okay. But to take it out of libraries and bookstores, that's what banned books means. And we will always encourage the selling and buying of those books. The proposed policy at Rapid Area Schools is to stop any student from checking out a book that was complained about until a review of that book is completed. Madison Newman, Coda Territory News. Thank you, Madison. According to that study by the American Library Association, most of the challenged and banned books feature characters or authors who are LGBTQ or people of color. It says organized censorship groups share lists of books on social media and target local public school libraries where they can be found. And Minnesota's governor's getting into the act, calling out the trend this week during a National Reading Month celebration. Democratic Governor Tim Walz called out states banning or trying to ban books and vowing to fight back. We want to make very clear that um, access to reading and access to materials in our schools and in our libraries is absolutely critical to a functioning democracy. And I want to be very clear, if you're on the side of book banning, they have never been on the right side of history. In his speech, Walz specifically called out the state of Florida where book removal guidelines from the Ron DeSantis administration received nationwide backlash after photos and videos of empty school bookshelves went viral earlier this year. 